artworks that keep you guessing. They play with the viewer's perception, sometimes appearing so real that it's uncanny. These are all works by Dutch street artist Leon Kier. He's built up a fan following all over the world, despite the fact that he has no formal art training. He primarily follows the rules of mathematics. Now, at school, I was very good in mathematics, but I never knew uh, what I could do with it. Like, uh, I find it kind of useless uh, to learn all these kind of formulas and all these kind of techniques of mathematics. But now, if you see this, uh, if you see this artwork and you are busy with the work, you feel a kind of um, that, you, that you also need it. Aside from mathematics, his computer is also an essential tool. It allows him to play around with the perspective in the two-dimensional images. He can then reproduce the images on the ground so that they look perfectly three-dimensional. In his latest work, he's painting three identical girls sitting on a landscape of melting ice. As with all 3D images, the spatial effect only works when you're looking at it from the right angle. Seen from the side, the picture looks distorted and does not immediately make sense. Well, the most challenging part is that you have to uh, convert your two-dimensional sketch into this uh, 3D uh, distorted image. So you have to uh, distort it very, very widely. And uh, in the beginning of the painting, so when you're standing close to the viewpoint, it's, it's okay, that uh, distortion, but if you are further away from the viewpoint, then you have to distort it even more. A line of thread serves as an invaluable aid throughout the entire process. It simulates what will later be the viewer's line of vision, giving Kier the necessary orientation as he paints his distorted image on the ground. He regularly checks the results of his work from the designated viewpoint. To ensure that his works are not immediately washed away by the elements, he uses acrylic paint rather than chalk. On every stroke, on every brush stroke you make, you, you have to, you have to uh, be aware how it looks like from that viewpoint. So my, my body could be there, painting, on top of the painting, but my mind is at the viewpoint. Kier first took up 3D painting 10 years ago, and he's been perfecting his technique ever since. He now spends 10 months of the year traveling around the world, producing a new artwork every week. Like this one, at the World Street Painting Festival in the Dutch city of Arnhem. Works by artists from all over the world will be on display here until September 3rd. Like Leon Kier, they're all able to live off their work. Throughout the year, there are numerous 3D street art festivals, especially in Europe and the US. It is popular because of the internet. Like everybody uh, uh, wants to want to be on the um, on the picture and uh, take a photo, share it on their Facebook or uh, other social media account, and therefore you will get a lot of likes. Once he's finished, he marks the ideal spot for the viewer to look at the painting. It's taken him four days to complete this one. Like all his works, it's been designed so that people can become part of the 3D image when they pose for photos. It's really an awesome uh, street art uh, picture. It looks like real. When you stand exactly at that point, it's, uh, it, it looks like real. Leon Kier's next job is already waiting in Norway. His work in Arnhem will survive for a few months until the rain and the street cleaners let it fade away. My, my focus is on uh, creating a piece, and when it's, and when it's there, when it's, it has the final result, I take a photo, put it on the net, but I don't look at it anymore. It's just I'm focused already uh, on, the, on the next artwork, and that's uh, going to be even better, bigger. His artworks on the street may have long since disappeared, but they live on in the internet and on the smartphones of passers-by the world over.